Good afternoon everyone and uh, here is another thought for the day for our YouTube channel. It has been officially announced now that we're in lockdown for another three weeks. We've just gone through three and we have another three to go up till May the 7th, I believe it was. And um, these are challenging times. We're um, still not sure what the future is going to look like. And I think we all crave for the day when things will go back to uh, normal, whatever normal may look like. Um, I think even when things do go back to some sort of normality, we will be living almost in a different world, I think. I think people will see this world very differently to how they uh, saw it before the coronavirus um, got going. And so that got me thinking about um, living in a different world, really. And as I was trying to think of uh, biblical passages to share with you today, um, a couple of things came to my mind as I thought about some comparisons. One was um, the idea of being isolated. We're all living in our homes and we can't go out very far. The second one was um, disaster and catastrophe is around us as we're inside. And then the third one is the rainbow. We're seeing lots of rainbows in people's windows to um, as a sign to thank the NHS for what they're doing for so many people and that these doctors and nurses and carers are out on the front lines sacrificing their lives to save other lives. And so um, I think your mind may already be there which story I'm thinking about where a family was isolated in one spot where a catastrophe of a flood was all around them and then at the end of that they saw the rainbow as a sign of God's covenant that this would never happen again. And that is the story of Noah and Noah's Ark. And I just was uh, thinking about that story and maybe wanted to share some of that uh, as we think about what's happening with us at the moment. So um, let's have a look at a couple of things with that. Noah did have members of his family on the Ark and they were able to uh, live in that community together as they looked after the animals. And although, although a lot of people... Um, living with families at the moment, being isolated. There are many parts of our family who we can't see. And I think um, the biggest thing I'm longing for is that day when I can be reunited with family again, for my daughter to be able to see her grandparents once again. And uh, these are difficult times when you're just isolated and uh, we just yearn for this time to be over and long for things to go back to normal. It can be very scary as well when we're um, just stuck inside and we know that outside in this world there is this uh, deadly virus spreading around. It's uh, taking so many people's lives. It's uh, making so many people's lives difficult. There are so many people on the front line with this. And um, I often think for Noah, what was it like for him and his family to know that there was this great flood all around them and the earth was perishing? And they're just stuck in this one little boat, um, although the ark was probably very large to fit all the people and the animals on. That sense of uh, being overwhelmed with fear, I suppose. But as they're traveling on the ark and just floating, there is that great trust in the Lord. And I believe we need to have that as well, that uh, faith and hope in him that he will bring about his love and protection for people in the midst of this time, that he will protect them through his Holy Spirit. He will comfort those who are mourning. He will comfort those who are suffering. And I believe the Lord is with us during this time. He is really there and he is not distant from the world looking down saying, oh, poor you, but he is on. He is here with us. And then as Noah um, came off the ark, uh, the Lord made a covenant with him when he saw the sign of the rainbow in the sky and then the, the Lord said he promised he would never do anything like this again. And as I've said, uh, if you look out your uh, house, um, at least for me, I can see many rainbows uh, in the window. And it's a wonderful sense of community. People have come together to thank our doctors and our, and our nurses in the NHS for all that they're doing. However, the one thing I want to mention here, and this may seem like a very difficult theological subject to talk about is when we think of Noah's flood in the Bible this is an event that God uh, had planned out and it was something that was going to happen and it was something that it was God's will to happen 
Now, it has really upset me when we think about the coronavirus that there has been some people on the internet and around the world saying that God is using this virus to punish us. And it just really got me upset that uh, that kind of interpretation and that kind of theology should come out in a situation like this. In this in this time where we need love, support and comfort, the last thing we want is an image of a judgmental God who is seeking out to kill people, basically. So um, I just really want to um, encourage you, if you encountered that kind of thinking or maybe are worried about that, to know that God is a God of love and that things of judgment and punishment, that is within his divine power uh, and not our will to worry about. And so to make comments like that is not appropriate because we don't even know if that's true. So why would we make comments like that? So I just want to um, share this. It was something that has been on my heart for a couple of days and hearing various comments. And uh, I just really felt the need. I wanted to share that. But in the midst of all this, the story that we're reminded of, of Noah, is a story of a God who was with this family, who protected them in the midst of this uh, terrible disaster. And he brought about his love and grace through that. And in the midst of this situation in coronavirus, the Lord is with us and will comfort us and will protect us. And even though we're seeing many people suffer and it is such a difficult thing. We pray that God will send his Holy Spirit to comfort and heal and uh, to give strength to our physicians. So may the Lord bless you. And again, I just hope that this has been encouraging to you and a blessing to you. Amen.